Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode 127. <laughs> I've got quite a few finished objects. I think I have five. Yes. Uh, no, six. And uh, I got some whips to show, share with you guys today. And that's pretty much it. I'm doing a mail haul in a separate video. And um, I vlogged on my other channel. Its video will be up today also. If you're interested, that'll be linked below. And you can check it out uh, over there. It's called No Catchy Name Life. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop into it because I got some, a lot of stuff to show you. And I gotta wrap things up quickly here and get these videos edited and uploading so that I can clean my house because my house is a mess. <laughs> but I also got some sewing to do and all that jazz. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my finished objects. Alright, I got four finished hats. <laughs> but on a hat cake. So recently I was gifted some chunky yarn from a friend. And, um... I haven't used a lot of chunky yarn. I've used it for random projects here and there over the years, but I don't usually buy it. I just use it when people um, give it to me. Uh, I think the only chunky yarn I've ever bought myself was blanket yarn when I made a giant octopus for Jesse uh, a few years ago. I think that was like two and a half or three years ago. I can't even remember. It's been a while. But anyways, my friend gifted me. Um, see there, she gifted me four. I have six balls of chunky yarn. Two of them I can't use because they're wool and they, they add, irritate me. <laughs> One of them I haven't used yet. It's over on the couch. I'm actually going to be using it soon. And then the other three I did use. So two of them were Premier Bloom Chunkies. There's the label. And they are size five. And each of these have 109 yards in them. And one of them was here. Cactus Bloom was the first one that I made a hat with. So I made this hat. Really easy hat. It's called the V beanie the it's v e e beanie because it's got v stitches in it <laughs> and it's a free pattern i'll link it below in the description box but uh it's really simple you start doing i think double crochets into the increases and then you do some v stitches um as the regular you know the rows <laughs> and then you do a uh, single crochet at the bottom so this will fit me I actually like the way this hat fits if it's really good i like slouchy hats hats but i do like the kind that are stuck to your head too <laughs> But uh, I'm probably going to donate this hat because uh, I don't really need big bulky hats. I did make myself one, but that's that's irrelevant. <laughs> but this yarn is so pretty. I love the colors. I know it looks different when you knit it and crochet it, but I like the way this looks. I think it came out pretty. Really easy pattern. I'm, I whipped it up really quickly. So that was cactus. Uh, blue. And then the next one, I, have it, I still have it woven in the ends. But this one is called um, Baby's Breath. Yeah, Baby's Breath. Same type of yarn. It's the Premier Bloom Chunky. And it's got just a little bit of color. It's mostly white, but I still think it's pretty. This one is a little bit smaller than the other one. Just because I think I did a less, uh, one less row of V-stitches. But it still fits me. And uh, it would fit probably a, a woman or a teenage person. <laughs> but uh, I gotta weave in the two ends. The ends still on the inside and not here. I just neglected to do that. <laughs> But that's both the V-stitch, and I can't remember who is that is by, because I just have the name of it there. But it's a free pattern. I will link it. Okay. The next hat is also made with some of the chunky yarn that was gifted to me, and it's Yarn B Soft and Sleek Chunky. I love the Soft and Sleek yarn. I've used the Soft and Sleek DK, and then now the Chunky. I haven't used the worsted, uh, I don't think, but, and it's a slightly larger ball. It is also a number five. Let's see, it's right here. It's a number five, and it is 211 yards, so it's got almost twice as much yarn as the Bloom, because it was 109, this is 211, so it's only a few yards short of being twice as much. And, uh, yeah, so I made this hat for me, and I didn't use a pattern with this hat, I just whipped it up. And it is a chunky slouch <laughs> with a pom-pom. But what I did for it is I chained 38, I believe, chains with a K-hook. And then I half double crocheted in the back loop only for as many rolls as it took to wrap around my head and be a, a little snug because I know it's going to stretch, you know. And um, then I slip stitched them together. You know, it came out like a long panel and I put it together and slip stitched it. And then the top, I used the end where I started the chain and I wove it through all the ends and pulled it tight to cinch it up to make the top up here. And then I just made a pom-pom with my pom-pom maker. <laughs> And uh, I put the threads through the hat and tied it into a bow. Because I'm probably going to take this palm off and put a faux fur one on there. 
because this one's gonna fall apart <laughs> my palms always fall apart but I really like it I've always wanted one of these hats it's slouchy and you fold it up and I don't really need it that much here in Tennessee but um, it will get cold in early next year like March and uh, maybe February will be cold enough to need a hat like this but uh, normally just a regular little beanie is enough for us here you could fold it up more like that to make it not slouchy. It's cute either way, I think. It'd be cute for photos. Like if we go to look at Christmas lights, it'll be cute. But that's my hat. And then out of the same ball, I made an ear warmer. Which, again, I used no pattern. It's the same thing as the hat. I chained enough to fit around my head a little tightly. And then I have double crocheted in the back loop only. Uh, as many rolls as I wanted to make it wide. <laughs> and then I did the twist close which I'm going to do a tutorial for soon. I'm going to try to get that filmed this next week. So that, because a lot of people asked for it. But I think these are cute. And it keeps your ears warm, but it doesn't um, get you overheated. Like if you're, you live in a place like I do, where it doesn't get super cold, but a little nippy. You can have your ears warm, but your, your head won't be burning up. And you can also wear your jacket hood over it. And it won't be all bulky from like the uh, palm and all that stuff. But I think it's cute. I would have liked to make it a little bit longer, but uh, I was afraid I was going to run out of yarn. <laughs> I don't like playing yarn chicken, but it's still uh, really cute, I think. But yeah, I'm going to do a tutorial on this headband soon. I'm going to try to film it this coming week, the week of Thanksgiving. I'll probably uh, just, because it'll only take a little while to film. It's a super quick pattern. I used K-hook again. Um, maybe I, I think it might have went down, actually. No, I think I did use K. <laughs> but I will film the tutorial this, this coming week and get it up for you guys because a lot of people asked about how to do the twist uh, closure thingy and it's really simple it's just it needs to be explained um, in video because I cannot explain it with words <laughs> but that's okay those are my hats okay one more hat <laughs> this next hat is a uh, paid for pattern by Jennifer over at Jedi Dragoon makes jedi dragoon makes i'll link that below that's her youtube channel and i'll also link the pattern below on ravelry she asked me to test it for her and i did mine came out a little bit big for my head but i have a small head but it fits my husband really well but it is <laughs> it is a knight's hat like that it fits my husband really well but you could also put it up here because like sometimes when you see the suits of armor they are um the little things are up <laughs> But it, it is a really cute pattern. Here it is, flat out. It's got the little um, helmet fin thing. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. <laughs> and it goes down on your neck, which I actually think is really cool. That would be good for like men who hunt. Maybe not this part it would be practical for hunting. But the beanie with the thing on the back to tuck down like in their coat, that would be a good idea. And then the face mask thing. And I did use buttons that were recently gifted to me from... Uh, Crochet House Mouse. She gifted me some buttons and I, it was perfect timing because I ended up needing them to test this pattern. But it's a really quick make. I made it super fast. Um, yeah, this part here is color worked. I just held the yarn. You can kind of see it on the inside if you flip it around where I held the black and gray. But when you put the little border on it on the outside, you can't really see it. So it worked out great. So I only had like six ends, I think, here, because I had the start and end of both um, the gray and the black, and then I actually had to make another end because I came across a knot. <laughs> so I would have only had four ends, but I ended up having six because of that knot that I cut out. But uh, I think it was a really cute pattern, and it whipped up super fast. So I will link that below to check it out on her Ravelry, and also her YouTube channel will be linked below. And it is Jedi Dragoon Makes. <laughs> and then my last finished object is not a hat. It is an amigurumi. And you've already seen two of these that I made. These are the little characters off of a video game called Among Us. Um, that's real popular right now. But I'm making these for my nephew. I have one more to make for him. And then I got to remake all four of them for my son, Jesse, because he really likes it too. But I'm making my nephews first because it's going to be a gift. Um, I did kind of slack off. I probably should have went ahead and finished it this week, but I still have time. So I'm not worried about it. But here's the newest one. It's orange. It's really bright orange because <laughs> it's the only orange I had at the time. But since... Making this, I was actually gifted, the same person who gifted me the chunky yarns in that box was some Red Heart um, pumpkin. But, uh, so I might make Jesse's out of that. 
if I don't have enough of this scrap orange, because I'm trying to use up my scrap balls. But uh, here's the little orange one, super cute. But it's called Among Us, and it is a free pattern, but it's in, in Spanish. You'll have to translate it with Google Translate. But it's really easy to figure out if you've made amigurumi before. And if you haven't made amigurumi before, there are a ton of these patterns. This is just the one that my sister sent me, and when I made it, I liked it. So I just, I'm sticking to it. But there are tons of these patterns for free <laughs> and uh, purchase, even though that's technically copyright, copyright infringement, <laughs> but we're not going to go there. Um, so if you want to make it, but you don't want to deal with translating it, you can just uh, look it up and find another pattern. But I like this one. It's super quick and easy. It's made into three parts, the eyepiece thing, the body, and the little backpack are separate. And uh, it's made up super quickly. You start with one of the legs and then you cut it off and then you make the other leg and then you connect them together to make the whole body. And then the eyepiece thing is separate, and it does have stuff in behind it. And then the backpack is separate. But it's super easy. I like this pattern a lot. The other two are right here. The blue one. And the red one. So I've got these three so far. The orange one's a little bit bigger, but it, he's made with Red Heart. I think it's Red Heart. Maybe it's not. I don't know what yarn it is. These other two are paint box yarns that was uh, gifted to me. And this is... I don't think it's Red Heart. I don't know what it is, but it's a little bit bigger, so it's... Uh, a little bit taller, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so I got one more to make for my nephew, and it will be green. And then I got to remake all four of them for my son, Jesse, because he wants them. And I need to find a pattern that's almost the same size, or I might be able to just make it myself, of one of the dead ones that is just the legs with like a little bone sticking out the top. And um, I'm going to make that for my son. My nephew hasn't asked for that one, but he might after I make it. But I'll deal with that when that comes. All right, whips. Okay, one of my whips is, I forgot to get the links for Judy. I'll put it in there before I put the video up. But Judy over at Witch Piece Crafts or Creations, I can't remember what it is, but I'll link it below. She is doing a um, crochet along from November called Movember, and it is to raise awareness for men's health. And um, basically you just gotta make any so anything in any shade of the mauve colorway which she's considering purple colorway um and using the tag so i'm trying to do that but i started it and then i got distracted <laughs> so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish it before the end of november but i'm using a k-hook and this big giant ball of yarn that was gifted to me a long time ago i think it is either a red heart color or maybe a karen because it's a big old ball <laughs> it's huge uh and it's a mauve color this is what i associate with the color mauve and I googled it and this is what color comes up usually but I'm making one of the hats like I made right here for uh, it and it's gonna be I'm holding it double I'm using both ends of the yarn the center pull and the outside pull and um, so it's gonna be like a bulky weight and it's just instead of half double crochets it's double crochets back and forth this is as far as I've gotten because <laughs> I started it that night and then I got distracted with other things and I'm going to try to finish it up before the end of November. And um, if I can't, it's just going to be late. <laughs> but, um, so that's one of my whips. And I'm using a K-hook for that, I'm pretty sure. My next whip is a new whip that I started. I was watching Pamela at, a Pamela, at Pamela's Adoring Crochet. And she had made the cardigan that I have been wanting to make forever. And it's the Everyday Cardigan by Sorella. And it's free pattern. And it's been around forever, for a while. Because I remember a few years ago. I bought this yarn. It's red. It's uh, I love this yarn. Sun gold. I bought like seven or eight of these skeins to make myself one of these cardigans out of, and I never got around to it. I did start it, and then I ripped it out, and then I ended up using one or two of these uh, yarns for another project. But I went back to that pattern after I seen her video, which I'll link her channel below too, and um, it made me want to remake it. So I did start it, and again I'm using K hook. I've been using K hook like crazy lately. <laughs> And I'm using that yarn, and I'm working on the back panel. So this is what I got so far. I've got like 36 rows done, and I need to do, make, um, I think, 62. I'm making the extra large because I have body dysmorphia. And I don't, uh, now that I'm making this, I feel like it might be really big. But I've already got it this far started, so I'm not ripping it out. I probably could have got by with making the large. But, um, because this is 30-something rows, and I still need to make almost you know the same amount so it's gonna be really big but uh i don't even care i'm just gonna go with it if it comes out big then i might see if my mom wants it 
and start over with another one. But uh, yeah, so that's what I got so far. And that's this much of the yarn so far, of the first ball. I have six of these balls left, so um, according to her chart, that should be enough to make the extra large size. And um, I'm thinking it's just gonna be bigger, big and squishy because, yeah, because this is, I'm holding it now at my waist and that's how long it is. And I still have a lot of rows to go, so it's gonna be really long. I don't know how long it's supposed to be though. Maybe it's supposed to hang down past your butt, but I like stuff that hangs down to my butt, so. Um, I don't know, we'll just see when it starts coming together more and I'll go from there. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. My last whip is the Six Day Kids Blanket that I've been making. I've worked on it a lot lately, but I haven't worked on it at all the last few days because I've been busy. But I'm using Red Heart uh, Super Saver, Super Saver Ombre in Sea Coral and the Gray, which is a rock name that I can't pronounce. And I'm using a eye hook stuck in my ball. <laughs> this is the last of the first skein of the gray that I'm using. I already got a whole pink in there. And I got my other ones pulled out on my cart to use once I get this ball done with. Try to... Okay. So here it is. So far. There's a stitch marker somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. Can you see it? That's where I was the last time I showed it to you guys. So I added a lot since then. It's getting bigger. <laughs> it's getting a lot bigger. I'm excited about it. And it's so pretty. I think it's turned out so pretty. I'm excited. I'm working on gray right now. I think this will be enough yarn to finish off the gray repeat. I'm repeating rows two through six in one color. And then I switch over to... The other color to do row seven and then I go back to two through six so it's seven two through six and then I switch color at seven and then go up to two through six again <laughs> repeating it that way I don't think it's gonna be so pretty I don't even think it's gonna need a border because um, because it just it just won't need one it's just gonna look good the way it is and uh, I think it'll be fine sorry I just got an Instagram message and I was trying to read it <laughs> But uh, it's coming along. I was a little worried I wouldn't have enough yarn, but I ended up getting gifted two balls of yarn. I had two more in my stash, and then I got gifted two balls. Um, so I, I think I should have plenty enough yarn because it's already really long. And um, it's just got the first two balls in it. So I think I'm going to have plenty enough yarn to make it and finish it up. And it's turned out really pretty. That's also a free pattern. All the patterns I showed today are free except for the night helmet right here. It is a paper pattern. And uh, other than that, I usually stick to free patterns because I just I just look it up either on Ravelry or Google or Pinterest, and I go with whatever I find. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's everything I have to share for this episode because, uh, like I said, I'm going to do a mail haul in a different video. I got my knit crate yesterday, and then I also I'm getting something from them today. I, I saw it pop up in my informed delivery, so I don't know if they sent me two or if they sent me something else. I don't know. My husband's going to check the mail. He's out doing errands right now with Jesse. They gotta wash the car and they gotta go get Jesse some more underwear because <laughs> he's growing out of this current size he's in. There's a big pile right here, so I pointed over there of his old ones. And um, he went to get him some new ones. And uh, they're gonna go to a park and play and stuff. They're leaving so that I can get some filming done today. I gotta film some videos and do some sewing and just get caught up on like work related things that I've been procrastinating. But uh, it'll be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get this video edited and up today. Today is. I think it's Saturday. Yes, November 21st. <laughs> I meant to get this video out yesterday, but we ended up going to Joann's and we were gone most of the day because I have to drive like an hour there and then we're there for a while. We went to the mall to get uh, Bath and Body Works and then we drove back and, you know, it's just the whole day was wasted driving mostly, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.